Good morning everyone, welcome to my tiny room in Taipei, Taiwan. I just arrived and I got my 14mm f1.8 right here in hand and the streets look awesome right now. So we're gonna go film style. I can only take 24 photos with this in the streets of Taipei. I'm not sure if it's gonna work, especially because it's such a wide lens and a lot of you are like, how can you use that for even street photography? Well, maybe it's impossible, maybe not. But if we don't try it, we don't know. So if you're ready, let's go POV style in the streets of Taipei. Let's go. Woo. All right. This should be fun. Let's try. Okay. First shot taken. So I have 24, 23 left now. And I think it's going to be really interesting because this lens is usually a lens I would take a lot of photos with. What do I mean is that I kind of have to search for the compositions usually on this. It's a little bit more tricky than uh, I can just compose. Sometimes I have to be on the floor, which means that it can be harder to know exactly how and where I'm gonna shoot. Oh, the light is gonna come like right in the corner. This could look kind of cool. Let's see, I got it here, but I, I, I kind of wanted that symmetry right there. This doesn't look as good. See if we can do anything here. And by the way, Taiwan is a place I absolutely love. If you've never been here, it's a beautiful spot. It's just like Japan, a little more gritty sometimes. The food is also delicious. Um, and there's a lot to experiment, honestly. There's a lot to do. I want to see if I can get someone to cross here. And yeah, that didn't work out super nicely. Okay, let's try to find a little more direct light on the pathways, on the crossings. Because now I only have 22 photos left. And there's definitely some interesting looks around, for sure. It's very particular. I'm by the Taipei main station right now. There's a main station on the other side. And I'm actually gonna head out to the east, southeast, a little bit of Taiwan. So I'm not gonna stay in this area. I'm not staying in Taipei. I'm going to one of my favorite spots, which is Dulan. And uh, yeah, I'll have to show you what it looks like. Those buildings are so strange. It's like very mid uh, 60s looks. There we go. Hey, you know what? I mean, 14 might be a little tough to work with, but you can get some interesting shots that you wouldn't get usually. I don't know if I want to get this one right now, but I'm testing all the compositions, looking at how it looks, because I'm kind of constricted on my 22 photos. It's gonna make me think a lot more than if I'm just shooting randomly. All right, this is interesting. Look at this. Look at this building with the light and the, the people running, walking under. Uh, I wish we could have, so I just took a photo, but I'm gonna try another one if I can get the person to be someone to walk in the light path. That would be even better. And let's see. Maybe move a little bit. There's so many signs on those buildings. It's kind of impressive. Wow. And you see with the 14, you don't have to just shoot wide everything. Oh, taxi in the middle. There we go. Let's try to get, so 20 shots left. 20 is gonna be a little tight for me. I kind of wish I had more now. But look, we're gonna try to get the taxi in the middle of that avenue. Okay, taxi turning, three, two, one, no. Pink bus, no. I want the pink bus. So those first few shots are like wide shots. And then I'll try to be a little more creative because we can't just take photos wide, 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 you know? It's like, I wanna get for details. 
This morning I was hesitating between this lens, that 14 and the 7200. So it's definitely a tough choice. Okay, got it. So that means we are at so 508 and now 512. We have 20 photos left. Okay, I took four. Oh, I missed it. There is a corner shot here. I don't know if you can see it, but. Try to, to get it again when there is no one. Okay, I took one more. Three, two, one, up. I don't want to get run over. This looks a little dangerous here. Okay, so 19 photos left. I think we have some, definitely a lot of that same building. So I'm gonna change up. Maybe we can get some people, action in places. Oh, over there. Some people cooking. Some people crossing, like low to the ground shots. Okay, this is a good 7200 shot. Oh, this is gonna be hard. Let's see what we can do. Oh, I'm nervous. I don't wanna change the interaction. I don't know if you see what I mean. Hello, ni hao. I, I tried to discreetly take that one. Oh no, I bursted it. So I use more photos. Should we count it as just one? It's a burst. It's the A1. I didn't choose how many I took. Uh, okay, let's just count as one because if, if I do a burst, it's... Actually, no, if I want to be honest, it has to be just one. So that was four shots. So 16 left. Lab. And you know, like exploring a new city with a camera is really the best thing you can do. It just shows you a lot of places you would never look at in normal times. Uh, it shows you interaction. It helps you have interactions you wouldn't have in normal time. Also, oh, this is cute. And I love being able to do that with my camera. You know. Even if sometimes you go a little solo, but you can go with a friend, you know, you, you can hit up some photographers who are around here. And that's what I did yesterday. I actually hit up a photographer or like who, work, who works here, he lives here. And we went for just a night session and that was really cool. photos am I at 520 so I have 12 left I'm trying to get a better ambience it's so hard here at 14 honestly I'm slightly struggling don't really know how I'm gonna do it no will work maybe I'll go in the corner over here it's like it's so cool but it's so narrow in a way Let's see, what happens if I go like this? And the dynamic range is crazy. We could like direct light ab above. I wish we could see more in that frame though. Not more, but like in detail. I have to take two here. I have to take two completely differently. Let's see. You see, I tried two compositions and I'm shooting at a really high aperture to, to get a lot in focus. I'm curious, what would be nice is to have a shot of what they're eating. 
Which it looks like it's noodles. I think it is beef noodle soup. Yeah, I think it's beef noodle soup, which is a traditional Taiwanese dish. It's basically a beef soup with noodles and usually they hand cut them and hand make them. I tried to get a discreet shot of that lady um, eating, but she spotted me. I actually didn't want to see her face at all. I just wanted to get the, um, the moment she's eating and pulling up the noodle. It's going to be tough, if I'm honest. This session is going to go way faster than I expect anticipated. Let's see. I kind of like those lines that are helping me frame, but let's see. F5. Okay. With the guy waiting for the bus on the other side? I don't know. That's when I, I wish I had a flip screen for those shots with a 14 millimeter. Would be so, so helpful. Oh, great contrast over there. Damn, I need to get my 70 to 100. I'm kind of regretting. There's so many like nice pockets of lights everywhere. Or even the 2470, you know? Yeah, okay, I tried to shot really wide and low to the ground. It's like a crossing shot. I like those. The only issue here is that I'm losing my background. So I may have to try it again. All the all the cars are hiding it now. I wanted more depth with the with the avenue in the background, and now it's gone. So let's try another street, maybe 14. I really encourage any good photographer to try shoot at 14. I actually want to see a few channels shoot at 14, like Roman Fox and uh, other photographers. I, I want to see them like shoot ultra wide in uh, in cities and stuff just to see what they create. I love to see other people's point of view, you know. This is nice, uh, like, symmetry here. The shot itself isn't that interesting, if you see what I mean. Oh, 14, we, we can try the shot where we're, like, at the back of a person and, like, looking in or something. Could be really neat. if we can find them. This is a good spot for eating here. I've ate there before. I may have to have breakfast. Um, because we have... Oh my god! We only have nine photos left. Oh, this is good. Nihao! Nihao ma? Yeah, cabbage. Uh, one, please. What, which one is this one? Uh, that's a cabbage. That's a cabbage. Cabbage. Ah, okay. Okay, okay. 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 Yeah. One, two? Uh, one. One? Okay. Uh, one here. One, one. Uh, one? I'm sorry, sorry. Yeah. Oh, it's okay, it's okay. okay, okay. It's okay, take it. Okay, okay. It's, it's better. Okay. Yeah, yeah, grab, grab it, grab it. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. Yeah. Yay! Oh, sorry, sorry. Okay, you want help? Oh, sorry, sorry. Okay, okay. Okay. <laughs> it's okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Oh, I don't need the bag. Thank you. No. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Looks beautiful. <laughs> 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 
，能能喜欢你，然后不照我，我才能照你。Thank you。我叫 Baby 啊，叫。对呀，那个是你妈是我，你看了吗？笑。好嘞。谢谢。Thank you。Thank you。This is cool. This is what I love to do. It's to try food also when I travel. It's super important. Try to get a, a little bit of a depth here with the shop. Let, let's see if we can get a shot where we can hold the food. And I don't know if it's gonna look good. Yeah. And then, uh, I don't know, I, I feel a little like Stack 14 is really tight to be in people's faces. It's really wide, sorry, to get those shots. I mean, people reacted well, but uh, I don't know. I want a little more. I feel like we can do better. Seven shots left. Oh la la, oh la la. What about here? This spot is also good, usually. It's nice. Let's see. Let's let's recap on those shots in a sec. So when whenever you're traveling, if you have no clue what you're gonna eat, you just use Google Translate with photos. Just like for my camera menu, and then it tells you kind of what you want. So, I want the sesame noodle, which should be this one, and then I want the vegetarian soup, which should be a country with vegetables. This one, I think so. Let's go, let's try. Hello. Okay, so I was reviewing the photos for running a little bit into an issue where I actually have only one picture left, which uh, is really a problem in my opinion because I didn't get exactly what I wanted. I don't feel satisfied with what I have right now. I kind of feel like I failed. I could do a lot better, especially if I want to follow shot, which is from someone with like this tight street in the background. So really want to get that one i wanted a really close-up shot of people cooking because with the wide angle it gives you a really nice perspective and i don't know what i should do like should i should we extend like by 12 shots what we're doing or should i stick to it uh in either case we've got sesame noodles we've got vegetable soup i'm gonna brainstorm over it because when you feel like you fell like that or you change your role you know but I don't want to drag you for hours either because when I'm setting myself like that to have a certain amount of shots it does two things the first thing is that it kicks me into a creative mode where I'm like oh I have limits I have constraints I'm trying really hard the other one is that it makes me scarce in what I'm gonna be shooting you know it's like oh I can't shoot too much I can't do too much um, it's a little harder but the good part is that once I reach the 24 to 36 shots as I usually want to continue and I have a few ideas which is what's happening at 23 so maybe I'll try to get the shots that I talked about in just four photos uh, four extras and I'm gonna take you on this adventure but first I think I need to have my breakfast and see how good this is sesame noodles is like a staple in, uh, in Taiwan it's usually really good this looks really hot too two photos four clicks let's see if we can make this happen can I take a photo can I take a photo of it over there? Yeah? Can I, can I come take a photo? Yeah? Yeah, thank you. I don't take Hey. 
shit in here. Okay, okay, no. This is uh, look no, 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 so no. beautiful. You, you can, you can stay, 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 Mm. This could be it. Okay. I think I got a shot that I wanted. Mm. Woo. Okay guys, I added a few more shots to be able to uh, get what I, I kind of had in mind. Let me know what you think about it. I think the follow shot kind of worked at the end of the day but it did take me like four or five photos to actually get that one so I can't imagine when you were in the film days if you were trying to shoot like that you would have to go through so many rolls of film which is kind of impressive in a way and right now I have a train to catch so I pass it on to you drop me your 14 millimeter shots somewhere I don't know tag them on Instagram tag me on Instagram I want to see like how wide you shoot and what you can do and I think I'm gonna practice more and it's gonna get really immersive in the next ones and on the way to the train station I'm gonna grab my 7200 I think because there's so much cool tight shots to do here so wishing you an amazing day get out there go shoot try something different try something new I'll see you in the next one